I don't think we need a very expensive casket. Just a just a, a pretty decent one, but you know it doesn't have to be anything fancy. Chrome. If you got one that's all chrome with some gold accents, maybe some red velvet or purple. He like purple purple velvet on the inside. A pillow. It need a it need a real feather pillow on that something too. Real soft. And preferably if you got one with a fan in it, that'd be real good. Cause he don't sleep well without a fan. He, he, he really needs the fan. A, a nice one, but nothing too crazy. I'm going to put a fan in it. I'm going to bring, I got one of the little battery power ones. I'm going to put in there at the feet and just blow up on the face. So, so we're going to put a fan in the car. You got to got to, got to go with a fan, man. If you ain't got a fan, he ain't sleeping. I think definitely Vince Gill, go rest high on the mountain. Left, right, left, our drama. You know, when we when they're taking the, when they're taking the casket out of the church to the, to the caddy, Play left, right, left, right, left, right. Get on up, get on up. Forward march. You know what I'm saying? From the from the church to the to the car, that shit would be bumping. Then you get Uncle Mike to just to back up his Tahoe. He got six twelves in the back of his Tahoe. Just tell Uncle Mike to back the Tahoe up, throw the doors open, and just get it. We call it DJ Mike. It's your standard. What is it? Are they Cadillacs or just standard hearse? Y'all got any Cadillacs on twenty twos? Cause I'm, I'm just saying that 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 was one of his favorite songs, and then I was thinking if y'all if y'all got one, one of them Cadillac hearses on 22s, and we could just bump Cadillacs and 22s in the back, all the way to the cemetery. It's a black hearse. I think if the Cadillacs, that's fine. What you think about a helicopter for real? Like for real, if, if we could get a chopper from sit at the church and, and take the front, and we put the casket in the back of the chopper. And he had a helicopter go to the down cemetery and land. And then we get the down, and when we get, uh, I, want, I want Bone Thug's Crossroads playing. When the helicopter lands, turn on the bone, tell, tell Uncle Mike to back up his Tahoe and put on Crossroads by, by, by the Bone Thugs. And we get the casket right out the back of the helicopter and wheel that bitch right over to the burial site. You know what, that should be tight. You, you feel me? We'd like to bury him in Serenity Hills Cemetery. Yeah, it's a very well manicured landscape, lawns. I'm trying to think of the name. You know, on Grant Street, if you go right past the zoo on Grant, and you come to that next red light, you know it's got the the barbecue joint on the right, the little barbecue little barbecue stand right there. If you turn left right there, go down there about a mile, right, and it's a, it's a street right. It, it like veer right, it like kick off to the right. It's a it ain't a hard turn, but like you just. You just ease to the right. It's a cemetery right there. It's a, it's right there. When you turn on that street, on, turn on that right, it's right there on the left. That's the way we want to do it. Because, see, we used to hang out at the barbecue place all the time. And I think that would be really cool. It, you know, his spirits and shit could, like, float on over there and get some brisket. You know what I'm saying? I think he would like that. If, if, he, if, he, if we could put him in that cemetery right there, that would be good. We'll do the service at 11. And then plan on being at the burial do the burial service at two. Let's see, he gonna get buried on Tuesday, but see Thursday, we gonna, Thursday we gonna have a cookout at Uncle Roscoe's. Friday, we going to Magic City. Saturday, we going to Onyx. Sunday, we gotta go to church. <laughs> we gotta go to church Sunday, we can't miss church. Then Monday, we gonna have the service at the church. It gonna go from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. And then Tuesday, we gonna go to the grave site and do the burial. The pastor, I was thinking maybe Andy Stanley, Pastor Troy, right? That's how George Boy get get DSGB up in and, and, and see see if you can get in touch with Pastor Troy. Joel Osteen's probably too busy, but I, Andy Stanley maybe. Yeah, I, I'd like Andy Stanley if we could get Andy Stanley. We're gonna need security when they take people ten dollar cover charge. We're gonna have to wind them down because I ain't dealing with no bullshit. I tell you what, scratch scratch just scratch Pastor Troy. That shit too. Did him, him and P get going? I ain't, I ain't dealing with that at the funeral. Can we get Mace? Can we have like edible arrangements or some kind of some kind of fruit baskets set out so everyone can have some fruit and and water and beverages? Hell no, nah. hey, uh, be out B Y O B. You can bring some shit, but you gotta bring you gotta bring a cooler. And we'll provide it. That'll be complimentary. We gotta pay for so much shit. We're gonna need to do a cover charge. So if, if we could put on a little flyer, the RSVP, we're gonna make people RSVP because we gotta have we got a VIP room set up too. So. If they could RSVP and tell them it's a ten dollar cover to get in the church, I don't know, probably eighty to a hundred people. We about six hundred people, for real. He was he was he was well known. They got to shut their gym down when we roll out. <laughs> the convoy gonna take two and a half hours to get through. 
Yeah, people gonna have to pull over on the side of the road two and a half hours for all these cars. Daddy, I ain't got nothing to do with that. That's just the way it is. If we could get a police escort to stop traffic, I don't know how much that costs, but we'll cover that. Oh, no, no, no police escort. No, 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 no. We don't, we good without the police. We don't need the police nowhere involved with this. Uh-uh, we good. We got, she, I got homies. I got a couple homies that got lights. They got the old police cars. They still got the lights in. We 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 let them ride in the front. Yeah, nah, we don't need the police. We we got our own police. We good. We good. Nah, don't don't. Mm -mm. She will block traffic. Don't worry about that. We 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 we'll stop it. <laughs> nah, I don't think we'll need any special accommodations. Really, uh, nothing. I mean, nothing too fancy or special. Just a typical funeral don't forget about the cover charge now because we they gonna pay for the air conditioner but speaking of we gotta have to, you gonna have to break the knob off the air conditioner to turn that so much all the way down because it's gonna be long service and i'm telling you right now whatever it go down to it, it, it might be 54 degrees turn it down to it turn it down to it because it's gonna be we're gonna be hot it's gonna be sweating we're gonna be dancing you know how I, you know how i get we got to turn to break the knob off the ac i'm telling you right now don't let it get hot don't let it get hot now Mm -mm. And we're gonna have somebody gonna have to bring some fans out to the grave site too. That's about it, I guess. And after the funeral, we'll all probably meet up over at Red Lobster and have have dinner and uh, call it a day. I mean, see when the when the body drop down and they start playing no more playing GA by Pastor Troy. That that's what's going that gonna start the after party. See, then we all gonna ride over to Jeffrey's house and that where Jeffrey we're gonna have the after party at Jeffrey's, which is gonna be another. It's going to be another cover, cover charge to get in the after party. So we need to make sure that that's on all the flyers. I need everybody to RSVP.